The second studio album from the Cheshire-based alternative rock group of the 1975 see the quartet return with a more electronic approach, opting for a more danceable approach and including elements of jazz in the mix, all the while remaining rooted in their Indian alternative rock scene that can be found in their self-titled debut release. In fact, much of what made their debut so appealing can still be found in their follow-up. The ambient, spacious interludes, the danceable rock instrumentation, lyrical themes involving youth, sex, drinking, drugs and other misdemeanors, and young adult dilemmas, but this time lead singer Matt Healy also includes some more personal tracks that relate to family. And much like the debut album, it's a long listen. At 17 tracks long, there are going to be a few hiccups along the way, and there are handfuls to be found. First, the instrumentation is just as enjoyable, with the inclusion of jazz elements which were hinted building up to the recording process, there are many highlights throughout. After the opening ambient piece which echoes that of the first album, Love Me kicks things off brilliantly with a great guitar opening, high pitched synth line, punchy drums and bass line that matches the lyrical delivery, and the inclusion of a brass section at the back end of the track. It's one of the more layered songs on the album, and it's glorious. This makes the switch up in the next two tracks slightly jarring, yet not unpleasant. The first song, Ah, uh, goes for a more disco vibe, with a deep bass line, infectious electronic production and synth string section, combining all these elements to create a very pleasing song, and a change of heart displaying a slow synth driven track that comes off as patient, calming and melancholic but doesn't lose its appeal. With the inclusion of a downplayed guitar melody and multiple synth lines, it's one of the album's highlights. It's a similar story for the song Somebody Else, only opting for a heavy drum beat and the follow up track Loving Someone is similar in that regard. Two very good songs back to back. The award for the best instrumentation goes to the song The Sound, hands down. It's brightness and vibrancy from the very opening with the sharp stabbing synth line, layered vocals that start muffled before increasing in clarity, the subtle synth beat gently easing the song in before kicking the song up a notch with the kick drum and piano inclusion before being washed out only to be brought back in with a fantastic lead guitar instrumental. It's a simple yet beautiful track. And the variety doesn't stop there with the final two songs being acoustic guitar tracks that are both highly sentimental and beautiful to the ear, which kind of makes the follow up track this must be a dream slightly disappointing in comparison. It's pretty thin and aside from the sax instrumental, there's not a lot of memorability to the track. The ballad of Me and My Brain feels very lopsided in terms of the balance between real instruments and synth drone. Lost My Head, the album's worst song, is far too abrasive and is practically a wall of noise for five and a half minutes. And whilst the gospel inspired If I Believe You is very touching concerning the lyrical theme that the song deals with, there aren't many standout moments to be found and I would have liked a melody of Unkind. As mentioned before, the parallels between the two albums lyrically are very similar. The theme of drugs in the song Ugh, where the protagonist is in the midst of a cocaine addiction which results in an ugly and fruitless come down, relationship aftermaths in the track Somebody Else where he bemoans the affections he still holds for an ex-lover, and the difficulties of maintaining a relationship whilst travelling around the world in the track This Must Be My Dream, which suffers from lack of detail and too much superficiality. The complete opposite to the song A Change of Heart, which makes reference to previous songs on the last album, but the album also delves into more personal issues that concern Healy, particularly throughout his past experiences, from interactions with people he's encountered in the Somme Paris, his issues with religion and his conflicts with the idea of a benevolent being in the track If I Believe You and Nana, which is the more personal of the two, concerning God's refusal to save his Nan from death, superficiality and cultural differences in the song She's American, the media's influence on youth and their thinking on the track Loving Someone, Healy's reaction to the immediate fame he and the group experienced after the success of the last album on the track Love Me and she lays down with which deals with Healy's mother's postnatal depression and her turn to cocaine to deal with her depression. With so many tracks delving into so many diverse topics there will be a slip up along the way. As much as Love Me is a great song I won't deny that there are some corny lyrics to be found. Lost My Head consists of about five words and despite it apparently being an extension of the follow up track The Ballad of Me and My Brain at over five minutes long it's a lengthy track with very little to show for it. For as much as I like the track, somebody else can come across as needy and whiny on the protagonist's behalf. And although Paris has a level of intrigue about meeting messed up people, it doesn't have the trashiness or grit that previous songs have. A bit more dirt would have been great and the title track, much like Lost My Head, consists of five words and instrumentally, it's a slow burner which is somewhat nice to listen to but could have easily been cut by at least two minutes. 
maybe even more. In fact, the instrumentals for the most part sort of simmer and could have done with being shortened. Keep it short and get back to the action as soon as possible. Although I don't think this album is better than their debut, it's definitely a strong follow-up with plenty to enjoy. A wide range of topics and detail, slight shift in instrumental style works very well for the most part, and Healy's vocal delivery is pretty solid. All the praise this album receives is highly deserved and the wait was well worth it. Overall, I score this album a 75 out of 100.